Recently, most phones that you can buy have some sort of waterproof, water resistant, dust resistant or dust proof rating or advertisement or just tag to go along with it. Most flagship phones have um, something called an IP rating, which is called a, a ingress protection rating, which in, in short, ingress protection means entry protection. So if you have any design elements that prevent water, dust, solid objects, liquids from getting into your phone, you have some sort of ingress protection. Ingress protection, as I said, is just protection of entry of anything into a device. So if you have an IP rated device, that means that you have some level of resistance. So this is a very interesting concept because I've seen a lot of people misunderstand what this means. And also I've seen companies use this for marketing in a really weird way. So let me just go ahead and break it down. So as I said, there's that rating. So if you if you go to any phone, flagship phone right now and search up what IP rating it has, I will bet you there will be one of two ratings, either IP68 or IP67. IP68 is pretty much one of the top ratings you can get, even though it is not the top rating that is technically possible, and I'll get to that a little bit later. But the IP rating is quite an interesting system because it is standardized, but there is a lot of room for interpretation. The first number, six, is the solids uh, ingress protection. So the what level of solids can enter the phone? And here, the higher the number, the better. The number range for the um, solids is zero through six. So if you have a six on your uh, rating there, that means it's the highest you can get, which is dust proof. So no dust can enter this object. And um, the, the this zero is, and there's no protection, any object can enter it. But the one that you would start with is a one, and that's a protection against foreign objects of 50 millimeters or greater. So a pretty, wide range there from 50 millimeters or eight can enter and still have an IP rating to a dust tight, no dust can enter at all um, rating. So that's the first one, so IP6. So let's just imagine you have an IP6 device, that means it is dust resistant. Then that next number, that eight, is the liquid ingress protection rating. And that is a little bit more interesting because there are different levels. I'll put up a chart here and a link to the website that I have done to you know use to do my research so you guys can go through that with uh you know a little bit more time if you have but i'm not going to go through everything but i think the most common ones i have seen there are a lot of headphones that will have the ipx4 rating so ipx4 means uh and x means there is no no protection there is no rating for it itself so uh I, i've i've had many headphones the wireless headphones that have ipx4 rating the ipx4 rating means it has no solid object um uh, ingress protection. However, the uh, number four means it is protected against splashing water. So that is IPX4. And another common one is IP67 or 68, which has kind of become the norm for most smartphones these days. So what does that mean? So IP67 is, it is protected against the effects of temporary immersion in water. So if you have an IP67 rating, if say your phone drops into a pool and you quickly pick it back up, you should be fine. It is not continuous immersion, it is temporary immersion. So it's a quick drop in the water and you pick it back up. Then the IP68 rating is protected with the effects of continuous immersion in water. Continuous immersion means you can literally drop the phone in a tank of water, leave it there, and it should still be okay. As But here's where the interesting part comes on. So let me go ahead and throw, throw you guys a screenshot of the Apple website that shows the IP68 rating. And the IP68 rating is not the only thing there. After that, they specify a maximum depth of six meters up to 30 minutes. And that is interesting because then you get into the nuances. So just because you have an IP68 rating does not mean they're all the same. So up until this point, they are all kind of the same. If you have an IP7 rating, they, they IP, you know, whatever these ratings are, they kind of hold equal. But IP68, because the 68, that eight, measure is a very big one because when you go to IP9, that, that nine rating for water, it's not a immersion rating. So it's not a depth. A lot of people confuse, oh, if you have a higher I, that rating, that means that you can immerse it for longer in deeper water, but that's actually not true. Um, that is not how the IP system works, which I was quite surprised to learn. So I'm sure a lot of you guys will be too. So that if you have an IP9 
K. That's the top rating you can get with a liquid immersion. That is protected against high pressure and high temperature water jet. So not only will it be not immersion, this is not an immersion rating, this is, it's gonna be fired out with high pressure jets that are gonna be extremely hot. And if the, the water still does not get in, the liquid still does not get in, then you can call it an IP9K resistant device, which most phones will never get. And the reason for that is because there's no need for it. Nobody in their day-to-day -day life is going to carry around some sort of pressure washer or high pressure jet and try to force water into their phone. The most realistic uses for the um, submersions uh, or, I'm sorry, for ingress protection is for submersions. When you drop your phone into water or some people as they do will take their phones into water to take photos or use it in a pool, whatever the case may be. So that is what that ingress protection rating means. And there's quite a large, I think, I think I really want to talk about is people seem to misunderstand what an IP60 rate, an IP rating is in general. It's not something that makes your phone invincible. I think a lot of people have misunderstood that fact. Just because your phone is IP water rated does not mean that it's gonna survive. That's just a general test. And when they mean submersion, they don't mean you taking it into a swimming pool and swimming with it because that is not what it means. It means it is submersed and stand still. If there is movement of water, that means it complicates it. There is more uh, susceptibility to ingress of water or liquids, and that is tricky. So you should always be super careful. And I always tell people, please don't take your phones into the pool, especially don't take it into the ocean because oceans have salt water. And you get salt water in your phone, that thing is gonna be toast. You don't wanna risk it, it's not worth it. And warranties will not cover this. Even if you have a device with an IP rating, that is not covered under warranty. Any water or moisture found inside of your device will void your warranty, which people still don't seem to understand, but I just wanted to talk about that. So that is what an IP rating is. If you guys wanna look into this further, I'll have that website linked below, but I find it so fascinating that each company, so the uh, Google Pixel 7 Pro, the uh, iPhone 6, uh, the 14 Pro, and the S23 Ultra, they all have an IP68 rating, but they have different levels of rating. So Google rates theirs for one meter at 30 minutes, and Apple rates theirs for six meters up to 30 minutes, which is quite interesting. You will realize that there, that's quite a difference because if, the pressure of water at six meters is way worse than one meter. Even though they both have the same rating, technically Apple's waterproofing is way stronger, at least according to their claims. And that's something you also have to look at these days because IP68 does not really, is not, it's not the end all be all now. You have to go more focus into how much me meters they are letting you and for how much time they're letting you have it immersed and getting that rating. And that is now not gonna get standardized. There is not gonna be a, oh, if I can do it for three hours, that means it's a 69 rating, because as I explained, that nine rating only comes with high pressure jets. Submersions are no longer going to be covered under that. So that's just something I wanted to talk to you guys about because I find it quite fascinating. So I hope you learned something today about ingress protection and IP ratings and why your phones are not actually waterproof. And also, before I go, just because there's a random thought in my head, waterproof, water resistant are not the same thing. Water resistant is something that I would say more so like splashes. So a splash of water or droplets of water is more so IP, uh, that's water resistance. Waterproofing is when you can submerse your phone in water and still not have issues with it. So there's just a little bit of a technical difference. I wanted to get that out there because I know that causes a lot of confusion. Marketing companies have gotten smart. They have made it so that people almost use those words interchangeably so they can technically say something is water resistant but people still think it is waterproof and they're able to market something that is not as good as something as good because people haven't understood the actual differences between those two terms. So that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something today because I definitely did. I'll catch you in the next one.